But outside of that, we go no further. Agreed. Mr. Thank Attorney you. General, did I understand you correctly saying that only one election petition was decided on the merits? In, in Guyana, yes. In Guyana? Yes. That doesn't sound like a very um, effective uh, method of uh, challenging elections then. Uh, wouldn't you agree that um, whatever we think uh, about uh, how to solve this, but uh, wouldn't you agree that this uh, system, as you describe it, gives an awful lot of power to a first instance judge? Uh, because uh, the judge can use any procedural device to torpedo the whole issue. Uh, I'm not saying that the Chief Justice did that in this no, case or whatever, but, but theoretically. Uh, and, and your Honor, and, sorry, sorry. And, and the judge might, for example, and I'm not saying that that is the case here, but there may be a case where the judge is manifestly wrong, but you will still say, well, that's, well, we have to accept that because this is simply in no way appealable. Not these procedural decisions are simply not appealable. Is, 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 do I understand you correctly? Your honors had to deal with that question in the Dominican case. And your, yes. and your honors correctly pointed out that the decision is unappealable either way. Yeah. I but of course, made, I, could you... made, I could have made a, a most compelling case mm -hmm. of a flagrant breach of procedure, and the judge could have said, no, I reject that, and that would have been the end of the matter. And that right. is the nature of the jurisdiction. Yes. Because, but, um, you, because mm -hmm. the larger policy directive is Governments have to get on with the business of governing. Yeah. This concerns the election of members to the National Assembly and the formation of government, which underpins the rule of law. Yes. No, and we said that uh, very elegantly in RAM. Yes, no, we, all under, we understand that, and it has been expressed by this court. So, uh, so that, 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 that is fine. Uh, but... Um, I understand in this case there were two petitions and one was stopped because of the procedural issue. Another one uh, was allowed to proceed, correct? I can't recall what's the um, what's the status of the other one. Yes. I can speak yeah. to this one. I, I can't so, recall so, right now. So looking at it in a very, in a very this this yeah, distant uh, from a distant. Um, so we 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 the system is very uh, eager to punish, let's say uh, a few days delay in service because that is what we're talking about. But then we are now two years after that election. That that one petition that was allowed to continue is still somewhere. Uh, so. And, and and Guyana is not the only uh, country where this happens. Uh, it would seem when I read these cases that uh, they take an awful long time. So um, so what what about this urgency to deal with these things quickly? We are, all understand why that is necessary, but in practice uh, there doesn't seem to be that urgency. Well, Aren't you're not. Your Honor, you are possibly far better placed than I am to speak to the alacrity with which the judiciary must work. 